Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to Neri's Kitchen. Mac and cheese is an ultra popular classic, but for those doing our belly burn challenge, the problem is eating clean calories that help them hit their protein goals. What if I told you that you can still enjoy it without breaking your diet? This spin on mac and cheese made from cauliflower instead of pasta offers all the taste of the classic version and then some. It comes with crispy chicken thighs and spinach, and because the dish is prepared in one skillet, it's also mess-free. Life can be stressful, I know. And when stress hits, all you want to do is kick back and chop on some good old comfort food. This cauliflower mac and cheese dish is a great low-carb alternative to the traditional mac and cheese. One serving contains only 7 grams of net carbs. It's creamy, comforting, and has nicely seared crispy chicken thighs. Yum! Let's get started. Okay, so what I have here is I have six chicken thighs. I'm using boneless chicken thighs, but of course if you want to use skin on, bone on, you can. This is just a preference for me just because I don't do well with oil splattering, right? So what I've done here is I've seared one side already of my chicken thighs and all I've done is really just season it with salt, pepper, and a little bit of paprika. So I'm just going to turn my pan on here. Also, have you guys noticed my new, my new so, uh, stove top? <laughs> I thought it would be easier just to kind of demonstrate what we're doing here. So like I said, I've already just kind of cooked one side of my chicken thighs. Let's turn it over to the other side here. We want it to be seared on both sides. And of course, if you wanted to use bone-in skin on chicken thighs, you can. However, it does take a lot longer for the chicken to cook, so you might want to just pop it in the oven just to kind of continue baking for another 10 minutes until everything is clear and crispy. But I don't have time for an extra 10, 15 minutes. So easier, just use skinless, boneless, which is just a preference. So while that is cooking, I'll just show you what ingredients I have. I have some cauliflower here. This is about one head of a small cauliflower. I've kind of just chopped it up into small pieces already. Of course, if you wanted to use frozen cauliflower, you can. I used fresh cauliflower just because it's easier just to find it in the store. What I did was I did boil this for about five minutes or so. It's still pretty, it's still hard. It's firm to the touch, but not soggy, right? You don't want it too soggy where it falls apart. So you still want it kind of firm to the touch. So I just boiled this quickly. But of course, you can microwave this for about, I don't know, four or five minutes in the microwave if you don't have time. So while that's cooking, I'm just going to grab another plate on the side. So some of the ingredients we will be using for this mac and cheese are, um, of course, the cheese. I have two cups of cheddar here, two cups of cream. I know it's cream, but everything tastes better with cream. Can't forget the butter. And then we have some cauliflower, of course, just a couple of sprigs of green onion. If you don't have green onion, you can use some chives. And then I have a, a brick here of Philadelphia cream cheese. And that's what we're going to use to make the sauce. So let's see how this is. I want to make sure it's nice and crispy on both sides. And like I said, all I did was just season it with salt, pepper, paprika. How's your day going, Jerome? Good. Good? Yeah. You know, it's a beautiful day out, and it's sunny out, and it's November. I can't believe how beautiful it looks. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. I hope we don't see snow until, like, December something. I hope we don't see snow also. <laughs> you know, I'm still wearing shorts outside. People look at me like I'm crazy, but you know what? It's nice out. It is. Enjoy Why not? The weather, Enjoy the weather. We spend so much time, yeah. what, six months out of the year wearing pants. So yeah. if I can wear shorts as long as possible, I will. Well, May from May Ray Stan at California. Say hello. Oh, May's online. Hi, May. Thanks for tuning in. How is California? I always see your posts. So jealous. Actually, in California, it's a little bit cooler this time of the year. Because we were there in... Um, San Diego in October, yeah. a couple of years ago, and it was actually quite cold. Yes. I needed to actually wear pants. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this will just take a couple more minutes. 
Mm, you can smell it, Jerome? Yes. Now that we don't have the saucepan, I can smell it. Really oh, well. I know, I know. Okay, just another minute or so. And this is the kind of look that you want, just nice and seared that way. What are your plans for later today, Jerome? Well, I thought I have a dance class, so I have to drop her off there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Jerome, are you part of the belly burn challenge? Not yet. Why? Not soon, huh? Why aren't you a part of the belly burn challenge? Yeah. Well, it's, it, it's timing. It's all about timing. It's all about timing? Yeah. Okay. Not ready yet. Not ready yet. I still like to eat rice. You can, you can eat rice. Just, just weigh your rice. You can still eat rice. I eat rice, though. <laughs> I like I like Mary's kitchen. Oh yeah, Jerome says he likes Mary's kitchen. That way he can still eat the foods that we actually eat, right? So this is about done here. I'm just gonna place this onto a plate. Let me turn this down a little bit. Okay. Put this on a plate to the side. It's already cooked, so we don't need to do anything further. Okay, so we'll put this here. Now this, these bits here, don't actually get rid of it. That is flavor, okay? So these bits are flavor. You just wanna scrape the pan if you can. I just added about a tablespoon of butter. Just gonna scrape this. There we go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to actually add in our two cups of cream. And I just reduced my heat to about medium, medium low. Okay, so keep scraping till it thickens nicely. And then we're going to add our brick of cream cheese. This is about eight ounces. Because this is a keto dish, right? So keto is pretty much um, higher fats, moderate proteins, and low carbs. So that's what we're trying to achieve here, which is why we're using the cream, the butter, the cream cheese. Because when you consume a lot of fats, your body actually starts burning fat as fuel. So that's what we're trying to achieve here. But we're still having vegetables in here. We're using some cauliflower, but it only has seven grams of net carbs. I've actually done the keto diet before, and um, I learned a lot, actually. Um, I felt like I had the first few days were a little bit tougher. You know, you get your withdrawals, right? And it's about breaking habits. Um, but I did lose quite a bit of weight. Um, I would recommend it, you know. It's nice to try something new, but for me, it was, um, I wanted to get ready for a trip. So that's why I did the keto diet. So, and it was actually quite fun. And, you know, I didn't eat a lot of, well, I didn't eat any desserts at all, no fruit. But um, it was great because I knew exactly what I was, what I could eat, which was high fats, right? And when you eat high fats, you're fuller longer. Okay, so we're just gonna let this melt. And then we're gonna add in our two cups of just shredded cheese. I'm using marble cheddar here. Let's melt that. This is gonna be our sauce. This will take a few minutes or so. You don't want to rush the process. But make sure that you keep stirring it, scraping off the bits. I'm actually using this spatula slash ladle I got from Pampered Chef. It's amazing, by the way. <laughs> is there anyone who's a Pampered Chef consultant? Let me know. This is a great product. I love it. <laughs> okay, keep stirring. And then we're just going to taste it, see how the seasoning is. I remind you, I mean, 
We did scrape the bits off from the chicken, so there is some salt already on this sauce. But we don't want it to be bland because we're also going to add in our cauliflower. So let's just do a quick taste test. But brought salt and pepper just in case because I like salt and pepper. Oh, that's good. You know what? It actually doesn't need salt. It doesn't. A little bit of pepper. I think the, the, I think the cream cheese is salty already. Cream cheese? You know, yeah, it does have some flavor already. So you don't, yeah. And then there's salt on the chicken, so you don't need to add more, which is why I wanted to test it first. All right, so I want this nice and smooth. But this dish is so easy to make, and I guarantee you, your children will like it. If your children aren't a fan of cauliflower, just give them regular noodles. Not a big deal. But for those that are wanting to go on a keto diet, this is excellent. It'll help you get your calories in. I know we have some members that are part doing the belly burn challenge and they keep mentioning that it is a struggle to get their calories in. Well, eat this. You won't have a struggle to get your calories in. I personally don't have an issue getting my calories in. Um, I'm like a bottomless pit. <laughs> but for those that do, this is perfect. Okay, this is almost done here. So while it's still cooking, I'm just going to add in our cauliflower. Like I said, I did boil this for a couple minutes and it is a little bit firm already. So I, I do want to soften this up just a little bit. So we can go ahead and add our cauliflower. Let it absorb the sauce. There we go. Mm-hmm. Did you have lunch already, Jerome? No, I'm waiting for this. Oh, you're waiting for this? That's right. Okay, well, this will be done shortly. And this sauce is actually really good. You'll like it, Jerome. Yeah. So May said it's about um, 61 Fahrenheit there. Right okay, now. what's the conversion? May, what is Fahrenheit <laughs> to Celsius? We don't know Fahrenheit here. <laughs> <laughs> I used to live in the States, but I can't remember. Fair and, okay, if it's 61 Fahrenheit, yeah. I'm just thinking, okay, it, it, 32 Fahrenheit is zero degrees Celsius, right? Yeah. Which means, is it two? Does, I does, don't know. Oh, does may, may, I don't know. Yeah. What is 61 Fahrenheit? <laughs> uh, Marisa, Nita, Nadina, Nadina, Keto is awesome. Keto is awesome. And I did it for a month, and the results were amazing. Yes, yeah, so there's a lot of benefits to keto. But you have to be consistent too, right? I mean, it takes a few days to kick into your body to kick into ketosis. Ketosis meaning when your body starts burning fat as fuel. It takes about four days or so. So you do have to be consistent and you have to be on it for, I would say, at least three to four weeks minimum. Let's get you a plate, Gerald. Anyone else that has tried keto, let me know your thoughts. Who else do we have online, Jerome? So 16 degrees on, on, in California right now. Oh, 16 degrees. Yeah. Okay. Well, right now in Winnipeg, it's... About let me check 10, my watch. 10. It's 10 degrees? Yeah. I, I don't feel that's normal right now in yeah. Winnipeg. Yeah. Normally, May, it's, it's cold. And I think even two years ago... End of October, we had this crazy, was it snowstorm or rainstorm where all the trees were knocked down? Mm -hmm. When was that? I think it was October, right? A couple of years ago? A couple of years ago, October, before, uh, before the uh, yeah. well, Halloween. Oh, yeah, before Halloween. Yeah. Yeah, it's been really bad. Actually, I hate to break the news, you guys. Enjoy the weather now because this is going to be a really cold winter. Oh, that's what they said? They say it's going to be the opposite of El Nino. Oh, wow. So, La Nina. <laughs> we don't want her. She's, it's going to be cold. Right, so, what are you doing there, Nari? <laughs> okay, so this is pretty much done here. I just added our chicken thighs on top, just kind of absorb more of the sauce. But our pan is good to go. So, I'm just going to turn this off here. And then we're going to spoon some in a dish for you, Jerome. So this is about, 
I, w- I would say it's about two, maybe three to four servings. Mm-hmm. And only seven grams of net carbs. Okay. So, Jerome, I'm going to give you two chicken thighs here for Thank lunch. Oh, let's, let's get the cauliflower first. Yes. You still need to have some vegetables in. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? What? Oh, I'm so silly. Always add a cup of spinach. Oh, there you go. Always add something green to what you're eating. Perfect. Always. You, you can't forget what you're... Um, you always have to add a vegetable still. You, know, you, have, you have to make sure that your pipes are working well, right? So don't eliminate your vegetables. <laughs> They're good for you. <laughs> okay. We're going to let that soften up. But you know what? I think they got the gist of it. Yeah. And then just a sprinkle. I'm using green onion, but you can use chives. Mm -hmm. And there you go. This is our, can you see this? Cauliflower mac and cheese. Look how easy that was to make. It took me Mm -hmm. less than 15 minutes. I hope you guys try it. Let me know if you guys did in the comments below. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. I'll see you next week. Bye now.